much candy being given out now. It's good to have a wholesome Bible meal that would satisfy your diet if you don't mind eating. You know, every parent that raised children after the children is breastfed for a period of time and yeah. then go to that jar food. Well, the child is all happy yeah. when he's eating sweets. That's true. You want to see that child face expression change? <laughs> Give it that jar of green peas. Yeah. Moment the green peas hit that child mouth, the child face expression change, and sometimes it, it shakes. <laughs> Letting the parents know you've done something awfully wrong. Child been spoiled by what tastes good. Well, that's the way the religious world are. They have been spoiled by this candy preaching fumbling around with the Bible. They want to be called Christians with the title, with no works, and don't want no works. So my job as a servant, a waiter, is to serve you scripture, full of salt, there's no sugar and none of our spiritual diet. Salt, plenty of it. I mean, loaded down with it. Very salty message. Salty scriptures. And it's all good for you spiritually. And that's what we have to offer you. So we're, we're grateful for that. I see we have a uh, baptism report. Let me say this before we get our baptismal report. Also, let me read this announcement. We have a couple of announcements. To all of you that's interested in the audio class, you remember we made that announcement before. It will start Wednesday, September 6th at 7 p.m. You must register by the 30th of August. Register at AV training at FCOOLJC.com. You register at A as an Apple, V as in Victor, training at FCOOLJC.com. Remember, the classes will start September 6th at 7 p.m., and you need to register by the 30th of this month, which is August. We do hope we get a lot of participants so you can learn how to work the equipment and work it right. That way you know what you're doing and know how you're doing. My international construction team that we find it necessary to organize to all brothers and sisters who are interested and joining the International First Church Construction Team, uh, there will be a link sent to the secretary in your local branch area. Please see your local branch secretary for the link that you can sign up. Also, is a form. So you go to the local secretary in your area. This is in all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ internationally. All of America, Canada, Africa, Europe, uh, the South Pacific, the Atlantic, every place. Uh, the work have grown so that it is necessary that we have an international construction team. So if we got 20 buildings at one time, we should not have to pull a team from one location if we already got laborers right there. Uh, the laborers that we have in the country of India is a great example. I have bought five and six and seven pieces of land at one time when they send it to me. And we have enough laborers 
that all the brothers can be in all the locations at once and build that temple from ground up. Well, the work is much larger than that one location in India. So I need an international construction team for the work of God. We don't want to get stagnant. I don't want no temple sitting waiting for a team to come. When we buy, we want to kick the doors down and get started. Now, uh, remember Washington, D.C., September 9th and 10th. Is that correct? Washington. All right, you only got about what? Another week or two? You got time to still leave your church. You do that. You don't have to write your bishop a letter. You didn't write him a letter to go there. You don't have to write him a letter to leave there. All elders and pastors and deacons and woman preachers turn in your license or bring them when I come and give them to me so I can burn them. <laughs> Amen. It sounds funny, but there have been a lot of women preachers that have done just that, brought their license and dropped it in my hand. I think of uh, there was an elder, I believe, who left the UPC. In one of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in the South Pacific, either it was the Samoan Islands or Fiji Islands, but he sent me a videotape. He wanted me to see it himself. He showed me his license and his registration card, and he set it on fire and said, Pastor Jennings, thank God for you. I I'm burning it. He said, I don't need it no more. He burnt his license to come and walk with the truth of the gospel. That's a good thing. Now the time has finally came for the dedication service of our main auditorium. The time is here now to all the truth of God, brothers and sisters around the world. We will be dedicating our main auditorium during our closing year combined men's and women's conference. That conference will begin December 28th to December 31st. On December 31st, which is New Year's Eve, we'll be dedicating, God willing, our main auditorium. Amen. Oh, we waited a long time for this. It's a blessing. We, it, it's, it caused us hundreds of thousands of dollars to get to this point. And the blessing is, in the midst of that hundreds of thousand dollars being spent, yes. God still blessed us to be able to buy churches cash without getting behind in anything. Still able to maintain a broadcast bill that's almost now $800,000 a year. And still able to buy churches two and three and four hundred thousand and buy it cash and still able to feed the people the word of God. That's a blessing. Amen. So no money is being wasted here. The church see where their money is going. Amen. To the Del Mar, Delaware area, God willing, there's two buildings we're looking down uh, past between Salisbury and Del Mar, Delaware. There's two good prospects because remember our Del Mar temple burned down and I'm glad about it. I am not at all sad about it. It was a blessing. Praise the Lord. It was one of them old wooden churches. And uh, it was an electrical fire and insurance, they paid us and whatnot. So we got that sitting in the bank along with the other monies that's there. So we're looking at two buildings that's very good prospects. They're not already churches, which doesn't matter to us. That's right. I mean, it don't have to be a church building per se for us. 
And man, we we'll buy it, and by the time it's done, it look better than practically any church. That's true. Amen. So we got two good prospects. So we are thankful. God is doing great things for the church. So remember to all our international family, make plans now for the closing year of Holy Convocation. December 28th through December 31st, held here in Philadelphia at our international headquarter campus. The closing of our New Year's service, December 31st is the dedication service, that's on a Sunday, of our international main auditorium. You don't want to miss this if you're wise. You know, I often think of the woman preacher. When we first ventured out to buy this campus, she sent me a letter, letting me know she's a woman preacher. She said, I know you don't believe in it. She said, but Pastor Jennings, I saw the pictures of that campus and I love it so much, I want you to have it so you can continue to preach the gospel. She sent us a check for $100 to put towards the work of the Lord. And she was a woman preacher and no, it's wrong. But God bless us with this place so we can continue to preach against her. <laughs> and all that's doing what she's doing. Amen. So you come on now. And be here because, my God, we, August is almost gone. A few more weeks, we'll be in the Netherlands. Remember, our first European combined holy convocation. I'm looking to see our brothers and sisters of First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ from different parts of England and Paris and France and different parts of Germany and Belgium and Italy and Scotland and Ireland all jam-packed to one place. And I hope as many brothers and sisters here in America will fly over to Europe to give them some support as well as Canada and throughout the Caribbean. Also, uh, I would have been in Mozambique now, but because uh, we had pneumonia just about, what, a month and a half ago, That's right. I decided to stay here, but uh, our first Mozambique Holy Convocation of First Churches of the Lord Jesus Christ and our first Holy Convocation of Malawi is taking place this week, going into next week. So I sent Evangelist Taj in my place. He called me before I came down. They just land in South Africa and Johannesburg. They spend the night there and then hop the plane for the first stop which I believe is Mozambique for the first convention there. So that's a blessing. And then after that, he'll go to Malawi and Taj will do a good job. He always do a good job by God's permission. One thing I say about Evangelist Taj, I, I never to this day have to worry about him deviating from what he's taught. Never. I wish I could say that about everybody. But I should be able to say that about all ministers. Amen. The Apostle Paul said, by God's permission, follow me as I follow Christ. And what we're teaching is laying right in the Bible like a bird in a nest. Not coming out no time. Glory to God for nobody. Amen. So you pray. They already, already lined up for baptism. I know they're going to be disappointed because I'm not there. Well, I can't be everywhere. But I'm glad I have brothers that don't mind laboring in word and doctrine so they can be there. Uh, so remember, so they are being Mozambique and Malawi. Also, we were originally dedicating Johannesburg Temple. But we moved that to the fall because I want to be there. Amen. It's our first building we bought in Johannesburg, South Africa. Big, beautiful temple. Seating over 600 plus with an administration building. Plenty of land. Amen. It's a beautiful temple. All the air conditioners are in. Baptismal pool is in. Already been repainted. Already new carpet is down. All we got to do is go there and dedicate it and declare God's everlasting word. 
So God willing, the, the last week of November, we will be flying to Johannesburg, South Africa. Now to you around the world, you, you don't want to miss this meeting. Pastor Jenny, there's so many good things going on, we don't know what to choose from. Choose all of them. Amen. I mean, choose all of them. You know, because some of you folks sit here in America, you don't even go around the corner hardly. And man, if you, you, you order your food online, won't even go to the market. So, so you come on, come on and go overseas and visit and some of your other brothers and sisters and look at what God is doing in other parts of the world as a result of the same message, not another gospel. We don't have to change the message to appeal to no one. Amen. So we'll be dedicating the Johannesburg South African Temple. From Johannesburg, God willing, we'll be flying to Australia for our first Australian Holy Convocation held in Sydney, Australia. After that convocation is over, no, 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 let me backtrack. We'll be going to New Zealand first. To New Zealand to hold our first New Zealand Holy Convocation with the First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ there. That would be held in Auckland, New Zealand. Then we'll fly up to Sydney, Australia and hold our first Australian uh, Truth of God Holy Convocation there. And then after that, I come home. And I think I'm yes! home. Uh, I'll be home for about, what, two weeks before it's time to dedicate here. Yes. So that's a blessing. So, so far, the government been nice. If you see me still here in America, the government changed their mind. That's, 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 that's the truth of it. Amen. Otherwise, in that, I'm pretty sure they're monitoring me. I know they are. They monitor what we preach. They monitor what we stand for. But I say like Brother Paul, as I said before, so say I now again. We won't change our stand just to go in our country. No, because the God of Abraham can overturn anybody's government. Yes, God can do that. Amen. I pray for the brothers and sisters there in California. God Almighty, you know, I was watching the news and I believe, what is it, a hurricane or something? Coming through there and they said a hurricane having came through there in about six decades. Imagine that, six decades? Well, there's a thing called the dark web. Talking about internet. A lot of lies on internet. And a lot of people believe what they see and hear. And on the internet, they say that man now have mastered the craft of manipulating stars. They said man can cause all these tornadoes. Williams, I want the book of Nahum. Yes. Amen. Yes. I want to see who work in the whirlwind. Yes. You know, that's all the twister in a tornado is. It's a whirlwind. Yeah. Brought by the power of God to tear up your home that you love so much. He bring a flood and wash your bank account away. You don't want to get rid of your second wife, so God bring a storm and wash her down the street. <laughs> you don't want to get rid of your second husband, so God bring an avalanche and move the house that he bought you right down in the river. Think of it. Think of that. And this is what God is doing, as I said before. He's showing man, you don't own nothing. That's right. I want you to get this. That's right. Follow me in your Bible and hear me good. In the book of Nahum chapter 1 and we're at the third verse. Yes. The Lord is slow to anger. The Lord is slow to anger. And great in power. But he's great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. But what? The Lord has his way. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind in the whirlwind and and in the storm and in the storm 
the clouds are the, the clouds are the dust of his feet. They're just the dust of his feet. So He's, no, I, I, I'm not into the dark web. No, I'm into God. What else did it say about him? He rebuked the sea. <laughs> He rebuked the waters. And maketh it dry. And make it dry. And dryeth up. There, if there's That's any right. famine, any drought, That's right. God can bring it. That's right. And he have brought it. He has. Amen. You wouldn't respect him and you wouldn't honor him. So he come along and send a drought or send pestilence and kill all your crop. That's right. That's I right. remember when COVID uh, was uh, here and, and full bloom. I never forget, I watched a video on social media in South America. It was coming out of South America. Mm -hmm. People was on their knees in the streets of South America begging God to take away this disease. Amen. Begging him. Because when COVID was hit full bloom, you find pe the hospitals were so overwhelmed, you mm -hmm. couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. You was in the hallways and out there dying in your car, dying on a gurney, dying in the ambulance. People have to bury or rather funeralize their mothers. One uh, a video I saw where a family uh, funeralized their mother or father on a parking lot. My Lord. They were running out of burial spaces. Mm. In certain areas of the world, they dug large pits, one massive grave. To put all the bodies in. And now it's out in the news that COVID now is back again, but it has changed. Mm. They said it's worse now. <clears throat> it's worse. Well, human family, what is it going to take for you? That's right. I'm convinced <laughs> that if every prophet in the Bible, an apostle in the Bible, was resurrected from the dead yeah. and was sent to every country in the world, you still wouldn't hear them. That's right. Eh? That's right. Eh, you wouldn't hear the dead if they came back. In the book of St. John chapter 5. Let me give Bible for this. St. John chapter 5 and we're at verse 44. Solomon. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another? Eh? And seek not the honor that cometh from God only. Yes. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. Uh -huh. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses. Yes. In whom ye trust. Uh -huh. For had ye believed Moses. Had Jesus, look at Jesus talking. Glory to God, if you would have believed Moses. Ye would have believed oh, me. Oh, you would have believed me. Why? For, for he wrote of me. What? Had ye believed Moses, ye would have if believed me. If you would me. have believed Moses, ye would have believed me. Well, wait a minute, Pastor Jenny. When did Moses write about Jesus? <laughs> Moses said, God shall raise up a prophet like me, and him shall you hear in all things. And whoever don't hear this prophet shall be cut off from among the people. Then the Bible says about Moses that the similitude of the Lord thou shalt behold. Shalt behold. That means that Moses will get a chance to see God's image, God's shape. I got to certify that with Bible when he done it now. Don't nod your head at me. Let's go to the mountain of transfiguration. That's right. Hey Amen. You first, let's get the prophecy in the book of Numbers. Right. When he said he would look at the Lord's similitude. You said I have to certify. I was like, are you woke now? You all right? All right. Let's, let's get the 12th chapter of the book of Numbers. Right. He said, I would not talk to Moses, my servant, in dark speeches. That's right. But I would talk to him mouth to mouth. In Numbers. Even apparently. Numbers chapter 12. We'll start at verse 5. Follow me. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud. The Lord. He, I, you see, I have to certify everything because they're after me. Right. Amen. You I think I'm a rabbit being hunted down by bloodhounds. That's right. But this is the one rabbit that hide in the Bible. That's right. Hey Amen. Listen at this now because after this, we're going to hop to the next scripture. That's right. All right. In Numbers chapter 12, we're at verse 5. I said Moses was promised. That's right. To see God's image. That's right. God's shape. God's form. That's right. Glory to God. Come on, son. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud 
and stood in the door of the tabernacle. Yes. And called Aaron and Marin, and they both came forth. Uh -huh. And he said, Hear now my words. Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among uh, you. Look at here. If there be a prophet among you. I, the Lord, will I, make the myself Lord, known unto him. Will make, I, I, all of you preachers I, that claim God sends you, and you got three of them and two of them, the Lord didn't make himself known to you. That's right. Because God said what he will do. If there be a prophet among if you. If there be a messenger among you. I the Lord. What? I the Lord. I singular. The Lord. The Lord. Will make will myself. Make my, we won't make ourselves we'll known. We'll make myself. No, no. You won't see three or two or four or five. That's right. I will make myself known unto him in a vision. You see, I got to make myself known unto him before I send him. And will speak unto him because in a he dream. can't preach who he don't know. That's right. That's why these men made a mess with the Bible. That's right. God didn't make Himself known to him. No. So therefore, they went on their own thoughts and their own theory. That's right. Listen at this; it sounds good. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him. I in will a vision. make myself known unto him in a vision. And will speak unto him and in I'm a dream. And I'm going to talk to him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so. What else? Who is faithful in all my house? Moses is faithful in all my house. With him. What? With him. With him. Will I speak will mouth I, to mouth? I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently. And not in dark speech. And I won't talk where he can't understand. And the similitude. The uh, similitude. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Shall he behold. Moses going to see it. That's right. Huh? That's right. The similitude of the Lord. Shall he behold. What do you mean? He going to see Jesus. That's right. Someone said it didn't say that. The similitude of the Lord. Acts 9, 5. Acts 9, 5. Let's, and he said, let's get the name of the Lord. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, who is it? I am Jesus. All right, now let's go get some Bible where Moses stood next to the similitude of God. Now in the book of St. Luke, chapter <laughs> 9. Listen at the Bible. And we're at verse 28. Similitude means shape. That's right. Form. Fashion. Image, figure. That's right. Uh -huh. St. Luke chapter 9, we're at verse 28. All right. And it came to pass about eight days after these sayings. Yes. He took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray. Yes. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. Yes. And his raiment was white and glistering. Then what? And behold, there talked with him two men. There, there talked with Jesus. Two men. Two men. Which were Moses. You know, I'm pretty sure somebody logging on and said, I want you to prove that Jesus was a similar to when you finish that, right. give me the fifth chapter right. of the book of Romans. That's because right. Because nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses. Right. Even though with them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam transgressed, who was right. made in the figure of him that was to come. That's right. All right, come on, Williams. And as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. Yeah. And his raiment was white and glittering. As they prayed, what happened to Jesus? The fashion of the his countenance fashion. was altered. Of his countenance was altered, and his raiment was white and, his and glistening. Raiment was glistening. The power of the spirit was on him. And behold, behold, they talked with him two men. Two men talked to him, which, which were Moses, Moses, and Elias. Wait a minute. Amen. Moses was dead. That's right. But his spirit was alive. That's right. Remember, Moses died, and the Lord buried him. That's right. But yet Moses appeared. That's right. And who else appeared? And Elias. Elias was translated. That's right. That he should not see death. That's right. That's right. Hold it to God. That's right. What you mean translated? God got rid of his natural body. Right. And took the inner man, which was the spirit of the man, into the kingdom. That's right. Or took it upward in the presence of God. In the presence of God. Uh, he didn't take flesh and blood. No. Because flesh and blood cannot That's inherit right. the kingdom of God. That's right. So man had to be translated. Enoch was translated. Elijah was translated. Yes. They did not see death. Uh, but here come Moses died and the Lord buried him. But the Lord stuck to his promise. And the similitude of the Lord. The similitude of the Lord. Shall he behold. Shall he behold. Back in St. Luke 9 and at verse 30. Yes. And behold there talked with him two men. Two men. Which were Moses and Elijah. And what? Who appeared in glory. They appeared. What? Who appeared in glory. They appeared in glory. They was in the spirit. That's right. Uh -huh. And spake of his decease. They talked to Jesus about his dying. Which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. That's right. 
That's right. Spirit of two prophets. Right. Now, these two prophets, you better give me the book of Romans. Right. They're from there, give me the book of Zechariah. From there, give me the book of Zechariah. Right. And then from there, give me the book of Revelation. Right. I want to establish who the two olive trees are. That's right. All right, son. Romans chapter 5, now we're at verse 14. Glory to God. Nevertheless, death Nevertheless, reigned death reign. from Adam to Moses. From Adam to Moses. Even over even them that over had not them sinned. that didn't sin. After the similitude. After the similitude. Of Adam's transgression. Of Adam's transgression. Who was the figure of Adam him. was the figure. Figure of him that was to come. Who was to come? The second Adam. That's right. So Adam wore God's figure before God's wore. That's right. Before God wore, before God wore. Adam wore. Who is the figure of him? You see, Adam was the figure of, of him, him that, that was to was come. To come was and to the come. one that was to come was the second Adam, Son of God, Messiah, Jesus. That's right. So when he made Adam, he made Adam in the form that he would come in. That's right. Years later yes, yes. and used the form of a man to redeem us so we can pull off the, sec the first Adam and then live the life of the second Adam. That's right. That's right. One Adam brought in sin, the other Adam come to take it away. That's right. And you had the last Adam. The last Adam. They come take it away. Now, let me show you Moses and Elijah. They were the anointed servants of God. That's Give right. it the book of Zechariah. Now the book of Zechariah. And then let's get the book of Revelation. That's right. Follow me. Zechariah chapter 4, we're at verse 11. Uh -huh. Then answered I and said unto him. You don't have no him. mind to work on none of this. Wow. Absolutely none of it. But my God, the thing, hallelujah, the thing just, it just comes to me like it does by the Holy Ghost, you know. Wonderful, wonderful. Listen at this. Zechariah chapter 4, and I'm at verse 11. All right. Then answered I and said unto him. Then answered I. I. You see, whenever the prophets or the apostles talk to God, they never talk to them. That's right. They always talk. To him. Then answered I and said unto him. And said to him. What are these two olive trees? What are these two olive trees? Upon the right side of the candlestick. Upon the right side of the candlestick. And upon the left side thereof. Yes. And I answered again and said unto him. What be these two olive branches? Yes. Which threw the two golden pipes. Wait a minute. What be these two olive Branches, you know, an olive plant, what comes from the olive plant is olive oil. That's right. So the plant means that these two witnesses That's right. were anointed of God. That's right. That's what that is. Right. What comes from the olive plant, get it now, right. olive oil. Olive oil. What is olive oil for? To anoint. That's right. Uh -huh. So what? these two messengers were the anointed ones of God. They had the spirit of God and they had the power of God. That's right. The anointing of God dropped from their mouth. That's it. That's why they had the golden pipes. Oh, golden pipes. The anointing of God poured out of them. That's right. And their pipes were golden because the information was precious. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Over to God. What did he say, son? What be these two olive branches uh, which threw the two golden pipes? Which threw the two golden pipes? Empty the golden oil out they, of themselves. Wait a minute. The golden oil out of was themselves. emptied out of themselves, which means when they spoke, the anointing of God poured out of them. That's right. I, I, that's why the Bible said no prophecy that's right. came in old time by the will of man. Will of man. You see, when you do it by the will of man, no anointing. Hallelujah. That's, that's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. When you do it by the will of man, no oil no coming oil. out your mouth. That's right. Blessed be the name of God. That's right. But when it's done by the Holy Ghost, done by the Spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. The anointing. That's right. The oil. The oil. The gold. Pour out. What is the oil? The moving of the Holy Ghost. That's right. The oil is the spirit of God. Right. What you think it means when it has five uh, virgins, uh, ten virgins, five wise, five Ooh. foolish, and uh, the wise had oils in their lamp, right. and the foolish didn't have no oil. That's the, right. the, the five that had oil represent they had the spirit. Right. Because your wick can't light unless there's oil there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got to have oil there. That's right. And when you got the oil of God, which is the fire of God, it will ignite you. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It will ignite you. That's right. 
or if they God and proof you've been ignited, you'll come through speaking in tongues. That's right. And the Spirit, hallelujah, so we say God. Hallelujah. And the Spirit, so we take God of God give utterance. That's right. But you got to have oil. Oil. A church without oil That's is right. dry. Oh, yes. Oh, it got noise. It got music, oh, yeah. and it may have praying, oh, yes. but it don't have the oil. No oil. So it can't be done with the Spirit. That's right. You can't pray with the Spirit. You can't sing with the Spirit, and you can't do it with understanding. That's right. Come on, Williams. And I answered again and said unto him, what be these two olive branches? What are these two olive branches? Which through the two golden pipes. Which through the two Golden pipes. Golden pipes. Empty the golden oil out of themselves. Empty the golden oil out. Of themselves. Of themselves. And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what these be? Do you know what these are? And I said, No, my Lord. No, hold it. And this was a prophet. That's right. Hey, you don't know unless God make it known. That's right. That's why if someone asks me a question, it doesn't matter I'm God calling, God sent, I won't pretend like I know. No. If I don't know, I just tell you I don't know, then I'm going to wait. That's right. I'm going to wait till God make it known. That's right. Amen, because I'm not trying to show off. I'm just trying to lead you right. That's it. Huh? That's it. When the writing came on the wall in the days of Daniel, meaning, meaning to kill you far sin, and when it was brought to Daniel, Daniel, he ain't know it right away. No. He was stuck. That's right. But my God, then later on, that thing came to him. That's and right. And he broke it down and gave it to the king right. so the judgment of God can be made known. That's right. All right, son. And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not what these be? Do you know what it is? And I said, No, my Lord. I don't know, Lord. Then said he, These are the two anointed ones. What? Then said he, these are I the two you. anointed ones. These are the two anointed ones. Anno that's what's missing in the church that's today. It. That's it. And that's what's anointed. missing in the Paul pit. Yeah. Uh, there's no oil. That's it. Glory to God. That's right. That's coming out of the mouths of men too much hardly anywhere. That's right. Hey Amen. Uh, I was thinking of, I received a text from yeah. Texas. Uh, there was a woman, you know, if you remember during the convention, I think it was the Saturday night service when the people came and they began to press. I mean, they was pressing to come up for prayer. And I believe this talk, the Bible talks about how when Jesus was there, how they pressed. pressed. And they, I mean, I had to tell them, back up. That's back right. up there. Some of the old folk was getting crushed. I tell them, back up. That's right. And uh, you that, that are sick, you come over here because you require oil. Yeah. So while I was anointing, well, I didn't ask this one what you wanted prayer for. I just prayed. Yeah. Because as long as God knows that, that's what matters. That's it. Amen. But testimony came in from the convention. Got information came to me last week. There was a sister there and, uh, who had cancer, stage four. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and uh, prayer was made. My Lord, my Lord. Thank God. And... Uh, she went to the doctor, and the doctor said it dropped to stage three. And Hello. then, a few weeks later, or months later, she went back to the doctor, and the doctor said they're baffled. There's not a trace nowhere. My Lord, Hallelujah. My Lord. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Take off. Hallelujah. What? Hallelujah. The oil. Hallelujah. They got to have the oil in you. That's it. I mean, all I can do is ask God. That's when it. God choose to work, yeah. well, that's his business. That's his business. I Amen. Mean, all I can do is ask. So, hallelujah. That's right. <laughs> hallelujah. That's all I can do. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God is pull on heaven. That's it. Amen. Yeah, I believe God. Hallelujah. Amen. He said he's the same yesterday. Oh, yes. And today and forevermore. That's right. Amen. So that, that testimony alone was very encouraging. Amen. Stage four cancer, mm. and God stepped in. She said, the doctors are baffled, and they didn't give MRIs and x-rays looking for it, My Lord. trying to find the culprit. My Lord. Couldn't find it, hallelujah. Couldn't find it nowhere. My Lord. Hey. Amen. Glory to God. What did he say, son? And he answered me and said, Knowest thou not he what these be? He answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? Do you know what this means? And I said, No, my Lord. You know, God do things like this to increase the faith of all believers. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. 
It's up to him. There's nothing I can do about that. That's out of my control. Yeah. Listen at this. And he answered me and said, no. Give thou, chapter and verse again, Williams. Now in Zechariah chapter 4 and I'm at verse 13. Yes. And he answered me and said, knowest thou not what these be? Do you know what this is? And I said, no, my Lord. No, Lord. Then said he, these are the two anointed these ones. These are the two anointed ones. That stand by the Lord of the whole earth. What? These are the two anointed they stand ones that stand by, by the, the Lord, Lord of the whole earth. Do you hear that? Amen. Jesus is the Lord of the That's whole right. earth. That's right. He's Lord of Lord and Kings of Kings. King of Kings. All right, let's read some more of that. Then we'll get the book of Revelation. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. All right, let's go to the book of Revelation. Now in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and I'm at verse 1. Now I want to show you who are these two olive trees. That's right. They're, the one is Moses and one is Elijah. That's right. And the apostle John, by God's permission, let us know by not calling their name. That's it. I believe the word of God says that I know you by your fruit. Right. What you mean by your fruit? By your works. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. So the apostle John, by God's permission, made reference to the fruits of the prophets. That's right. The works of the prophets Amen. while they live. That's, it. that's how I know one is Moses. That's right. And that's how I know one is Elijah. That's right. All right. Revelation chapter 11, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. Eh? And the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of God. Measure the temple of God. And the altar and them that worship therein. Yeah. But the court which is without the temple leave out. Don't and, you bother that. And measure it not. Don't you bother that. Why? For it is given unto the to Gentiles. the Gentiles to tread how many months? And the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. Forty and two months. And I will give power. Listen at this. And I, uh, Revelation chapter 11, I'm at verse 3. I will give power. Unto my two witnesses. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Two witnesses. Two witnesses. Out of the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. That's right. I will give power to my two witnesses. And they shall prophesy a now, thousand. They shall prophesy. A thousand two hundred and three score days. That's about three and a half years. Clothed in sackcloth. Clothed in sackcloth. These. These. Are the two olive trees. And the two candlesticks. The two olive trees. That's right. And the two candlesticks. Standing before the God of the Hold earth. it. They are the two olive trees. And the two candlesticks. And they also are the two candlesticks. Standing before the God of the earth. <laughs> the olive trees, olive trees, they are. The candlesticks, candlesticks, they are. That's right. Now, one is oil. The other is fire. Mm. They had the fire of God, the power of God. That's right. And from the fire came the oil. That's right. Someone say, well, how, how can you get that? Jesus said, the spirit of the, the Lord, Lord God is upon, is upon me. That's right. Then he told us what the spirit does. Because he it has anointed has me. Anointed me. Anointed you need me. the fire or the Holy Ghost in order for the oil to move. That's right. The Holy Ghost brings the oil. That's right. Fire come upon you. That's right. Which activates the oil. That's right. Fire, power of God. Oil, the anointing and moving of God. That's it. That's why the prophets is called both. Both. Do you hear? These are the two olive trees. Oh, these are the two olive trees. And the two candlesticks. And they are the two candlesticks doing what? Standing. Standing. Before the God of the earth. Oh. Amen. Standing. 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 Standing, Standing before the you, God don't of you, the earth. Don't you hear God talking in Jeremiah? That's right. If they have stood hmm. in my, my council, counsel, go ahead, brother. And have caused my people go ahead. to hear my word. Go ahead. Then. They should have turned them from the, from the evil, evil ways way. and from the evil they're doing. That's right. You got to stand Hallelujah. in the presence Hallelujah. of the Lord Hallelujah. of the whole earth. These are the two olive trees. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. What? These are the two olive trees. Oh, this is the two olive trees. And the two candles. And the two candles. Standing. They're standing. Before the God of the earth. Before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them. Or if any man bother. Fire proceedeth out of their mouth. Why, 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 why? Because this here touched not my anointing. Mm. Yeah. Don't you do my prophets no harm. That's right. Don't you bother the ones that's full of oil. That's right. Them that got full of oil, they're wise. That's right. Them that ain't got no oil, they're fools. Fools. They just got a form of godliness. That's right. And when you don't have no oil, you can't. You don't have no revelation. That's you right. You don't have no anointing. And when you don't have no revelation and no anointing, you have no drawing power. That's right. Lord, that God everywhere the truth of God travel, the anointing travels there. That's right. The, no, hallelujah. That's the anointing right. is there. Oh, yeah. Because the truth of God stands before the Lord Amen. of the whole earth. That's right. What? And if any man will hurt them, fire will man out hurt of their them, mouth. Fire mm. will come out of their mouth. What I, do you mean? Go ahead. What do you mean fire will come out of their mouth? They speak with authority. Mm. They speak by the authority of God and by the purpose of God. That's right. Uh -huh. And if any man will hurt them, fire will proceed. God said in the prophet Jeremiah, I will make thine words fire. Fire. And the people would. Yes. And your yes. words yes. shall yes. devour them devour or them. consume them. That's right. Amen. So you better not bother anyone that God called and sent and have the anointing of God and the spirit of God and speak by the authority of God. That's right. Eh? And if any man I mean, if you want them. to bother them, go ahead, but then God will step in and fight for him. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. All right, son. And if any man will hurt them. If any man. If any man will hurt them. Blessed be the name of God. If any man will if hurt them. If any man will hurt them. Fire proceedeth out of their mouth. Authority. Mm -hmm. Punishment. Yes. Look at the 42 children that spoke against the prophet. That's right. Fire came out of his mouth. That's right. Cussed all of them. Cussed them. Two she bears came and just ripped them to shreds. That's right. Eh? Saying, touch not mine anointed. Don't do it. Touch not mine anointed. I don't care how much of a friend you think you are. The Holy Ghost is talking here. In Psalms 105 and verse 15. Touch not. Touch not mine anointed. And that's just not narrowed down to someone who God called and sent to preach. That's right. That's dealing with God's people. That's right. Whom the Spirit of God moved upon with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Don't you touch God's church. Touch not mine anointed. Eh? That's right. It is written that the gates of hell. That's it. Shall not, prevail shall not prevail upon this rock. That's right. Hallelujah. I Glory build my God. church. I build my church. And speak unto God my church. And the gates of hell. And the gates of hell. Shall not prevail against it. Notice the gates of hell. The gates of hell. Gates. Gates is used to open and close. That's right. That means hell can't prevent us. From reaching God. That's it. Huh? That's right. Gates of hell. You can set up a blockade. Bless God, but the Bible said we are more than conquerors. That's right. We can knock that barricade down. That's right. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Huh? All right, son. Saying, touch not mine anointed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Touch not mine anointed. My anointed. And do my prophets. Don't you do my messengers. No harm. No harm. No harm. Come on, let's go back to back, Revelation. Back in Revelation 11 and at verse 5. All right. And if any man will hurt them, fire will come out of their mouth. Any man will hurt them, fire will come out the witness's mouth. And devour their enemies. And will consume the enemy. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. What is it? That's right. Come on, son. These have power to shut heaven. Wait. What? I know you by your fruit. That's right. I know you by your works. That's right. I know you by what you produce. You produce. Yes. Now look at the first prophet. It, it refers back mm -hmm. to what he done. These have power to shut heaven. To do what? That it rain not. All right, let's get the book of Kings. In the days of their prophecy. In the days of their prophecy, mean he done this by God's permission while he lived. That's right. Now let's find out who he is. Give me the is. book of Kings, son. That's right. Amen. By God's power, heaven was shut up. That's right. I believe in about three years and a half yeah. that it rained not. Yeah. Thank God that when the prophet Elijah spoke, he said, I saw a piece of cloud in the form of a hand come out of the water. And he told him, dig ditches everywhere. Go through the valley yeah. and dig ditches everywhere. And God going to fill those ditches up with water. But he's not going to do it with rain. And he's not going to do it with dew. But the ditches shall be filled. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 18. All right, real quick. 1 Kings chapter 18, I'm at verse 41. Come on, son. And Elijah said unto Ahab. Who did it? Elijah. Elijah! And Elijah said unto that's, that's, Ahab. That's witness one. That's right. 
that Revelation is talking about. That's right. This is the days of his prophecy. That's right. Uh -huh. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Real quick. Get thee up and eat and drink. For there Get was up, a, eat and drink. For there was a sound of abundance of rain. There's a sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, and Elijah went to the top of Carmel. Yeah. And he cast himself down upon the earth. Uh -huh. And he put his face between his knees. Then what? And said to his servant, Go up, look toward the sea. Yes. And he went up and looked, and there is nothing. And he said, Go again. Go seven again. Times. Seven times. Seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time. At the last time. That he said, Behold, there riseth a little cloud. Oh, there's a little cloud. Out of the sea. Out of the sea. Like a man's hand. Like, it looked like a man's hand. Why, 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 why now? Why? And he said, Go. Hold it, hold it just a minute now. Just a minute. Amen. He saw a little cloud. A little cloud. Come out the sea. Like a man's hand. It's like a man's hand. You know, with your hand, you can motion stop or go. That's right. Huh? That's right. It was the hand of God that had heaven all stopped up. My Lord. Amen. No rain can come. My Lord. And it would be the hand of God that will release the rain right. at his appointed time. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. Behold, there rises a little cloud out There's of the sea. There's a little cloud as out of the sea. Out of the sea. Like a man's hand. It like the hand of a man. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab. And what? Prepare thy chariot and get thee you down. You better get your chariot. That the rain stop thee not. That the rain don't stop you. And it came to pass. In the meanwhile, that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. And then what? And there was a great rain. Uh -huh. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. Do you hear that? That's right. So in the days of the prophet Elijah, stop heaven up. That's right. For about three years or three years and a half. Stopped it up. Oh, yeah. So listen at this in the book of Revelation quickly. Back in Revelation 11 at verse 6. All right. These have power to shut heaven. They shut heaven. That it rain not in so the days of their prophecy. So it don't rain in the days of their prophecy when they was alive. And have powers over waters uh -oh. to turn them to blood. Wait a minute. They have powers over, over waters, waters to turn them to blood. And what else? And to smite the earth with all plagues. And smite the earth with all what? With all plagues. You better give me the Old Testament. Old Testament. Let's find out that fella's name. That's right. I already know. I already know it. Because <laughs> I know about his fruit, you know. That's right. That got to be Moses. That got to now be. Now listen at this. Exodus chapter 7 and we're at verse 19. All right. And the Lord spake unto Moses. <laughs> the Lord spake to Moses. Say unto Aaron. Take thy rod and Take stretch your rod out thine hand and stretch out your hand upon the waters of Egypt. And do what? Upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds. Yes. And upon all the pools of water uh -huh. that they may become blood. That they may become what? That they may become blood. Did you hear that? That's right. So one prophet was Elijah, the other prophet was Moses, amen, and John. And do, listen, John let you know they were dead when he saw this. That's right. Because he said in the days. In the days of their prophecy. That, that's when they were flesh. That's it. They're not flesh now. That's right. They, they're just spirit now. That's it. That's why they was able to appear to Jesus on the Mount of the Transfiguration in glory. In glory. That's, eh? that's right. Glory to God. That's right. In glory me, in glory. they were in the spirit. That's it. Why? Because here you got one that was translated. You got the other that was dead and buried. Bless God. And uh, so here the spirit of them both. That's it. Appeared unto Jesus the Christ. And behold, they talked with him two men. Oh, they talked with him. Two men. Having a conversation with him. Which were Moses and Elias. And what? Who appeared in glory. They appeared in glory. And spake of his decease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. What else? But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. Yeah. And when they awake, they saw his glory. They saw all his glory. And the two men that stood with him. And the two men. I, I, I will give chapter and verse for this now because I want this to be good for you Trinitarians. That's right. I want to show you what Jesus blasted back to hell. That's right. Shot at the pieces Amen. of recognizing more than one authority. That's right. Listen at this. St. Luke chapter 9 and we're at verse 32. Get this. But Peter and they that were with him were you heavy You're trying to sleep. recognize more than one authority other than Jesus Christ himself? That's right. You're trying to recognize a second authority and a third authority and all of that folly? Jesus shot at the pieces. That's right. Because when Moses was alive, he had authority. When Elijah was alive, he had authority. That's right. But here come the greatest of all authority. That's right. For Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. That's it. Eh? That's now it. Now listen at this. St. Luke chapter 9, we're at verse 32. All right. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. Yes. And when they were awake, they saw his glory. When they woke up, they saw Jesus' glory. They saw him, the spirit of the Lord was upon him. 
And the two men stood with him. And the two men that stood with him, and they wasn't flesh either. That's right. Huh? That's right. But go tell me you can't see a spirit. God can give you a divine eye to see the spirit. That's right. Huh? That's right. When the Bible said no man have seen God at any time, that means them that's not of God. Right. For that same apostle John said in John 6, 46, not that any man have seen see the, the Father, father. save or except he which is of the Father. He have seen God. That's right. Don't you know when the Lord come, bless God, every eye every shall, eye see, shall him. see him. All right, son. And behold, there taught with him two men, which were Moses and Elias. Yes. Who appeared in glory and spake of his decease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. Yes. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And they that were with him, they were asleep. And when they were awake, when they woke they up, they saw his glory. They saw his glory. And the two men that stood with him. And what happened? And it came to pass as they departed from him. What? Peter said unto Jesus. Now look at, look at Peter. Peter said to Jesus. Master. Master. It is good for us to be here. Oh. It's good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles. What? Let us make three tabernacles. That's you, viewers. That's right. That's you, viewers. You don't want one to recognize. <laughs> you too blind. You see the Father, see the Son, see the Holy Ghost. You want to make three tabernacles. That's right. You want to recognize three separate entities. Yes. Too blind and deceived of the devil out of hell. That's to right. To know that Jesus is Father in creation, Son of redemption, the Holy Ghost right now in the church. In the church. Listen at this. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. Yeah. And when they were awake, they saw his glory. Yeah. And the two men that stood with him. Yes. And it came to pass as they departed from yeah. him, Peter said unto Jesus. Peter said to Jesus. Master, it is good for us to be here. Oh, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles. Let's recognize all three. One for thee. One for you, Jesus. And one for Moses. Well, let's, let's recognize Moses and build something for him. And one for Elias. Let's recognize Elias and we, we will build something for him. Not knowing what he said. That's my argument with you, viewers. That's right. When you're talking about three seven distinct persons in the Godhead, Amen. what condition they're in, William? Not knowing what he said. You don't know what you're talking about. That was me, Pastor. You that don't know. That's right. Not knowing what he God, said. we only got one to recognize. That's right. Just one. Just one. Come on, son. And it came to pass as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Yeah. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses, one and one for Elias, uh -huh. not knowing what he said. Uh -huh. While he thus spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them. There came a cloud overshadowed them. And they feared as they entered into the cloud. What happened? And there came a voice out of the cloud. Wait a minute. A voice spoke out the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Uh, no, no, don't, you don't need to recognize no Moses and Elijah to make them equal to who's standing here. That's right. This, this is my beloved son. Is my beloved son. Hear him. Hear them. Hear him. Hear them. Hear him. And when the voice was passed. When the voice passed. Jesus was found alone. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Then what did he say? And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone. And then what? And they kept it closed and told no man in those days uh -huh. of those things which they had seen. I believe one scripture says in another place they saw no man. Yes. Say in the book of St. Matthew. Be quick. St. Matthew chapter 17. We'll start at verse 1. All right. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John, his brother. Yeah. And bringeth them up into a high mountain apart. Uh -huh. And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun. Yeah. And his raiment was white as the light. Yeah. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and, Moses Elias, and Elias, talking with him. Yeah. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, uh -huh. Lord, it is good for us to be here. And what? If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles. Let us, let us make three tabernacles. Tabernacle. Let us recognize all three powers. Yes. One for thee and one for Moses and one for Elias. Yes. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. Then what? And behold, a voice came out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved this son. This is my beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. What shall we do? Hear ye him. And then what? And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were so afraid. Yes. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Don't be scared. Now in St. Matthew 17 and at verse 8. Says what? And when they had lifted up their eyes. When they looked up. They saw saw no man. They saw no man. Save Jesus only. That's all we see. That's right. That's right. I see Jesus only. Jesus only. Only. When I see the Father, 
I see Jesus only. Only, that's right. When I see Son, I see Jesus only. Jesus only. When I see Holy Ghost, I see Jesus only. That's well, right. Well, prove that Jesus is the Father, Pastor Jennings. Why, gladly. Acts give chapter me, 7. Give, no, no, no. give me John 14, 26. Amen. Then give me John 15, 26. Amen. And I'm going to prove that Jesus is Father and Jesus is Holy Ghost. That's right. Because the nature of the Father is Spirit and the Holy Ghost is the Spirit of God and there's only one Spirit. That's right. All right. I just want to propose this question to you that because when you denounce Jesus Christ being Father, you denounce him being God. God. Yes, that's right. Let me ask you one question. I remember I posed this during the convention and somebody posted, we baptize in the name of Jesus Christ because Jesus said, I come in my Father's name. That's so right. Right. Yeah. So if he come in his father's name, so obviously he got the name, the father, Jesus the Christ. That's right. So just tell me how many Jesus Christ in heaven is it? Mm. Amen. Because your scripture was right. Yeah. He come in his father's Amen. name. Amen. That's right. That's right. So how many Jesus Christ in heaven is it? That's right. I dare you to tell me it's two or three. Amen. I slap you back where you come from with the Bible. That's right. This scripture going to prove not only is Jesus Christ the Father, but he's also the Holy Ghost. That's it. Now give me John 14, 26. St. John 14 and verse 26. Get me, my listeners, get this. But the comforter which is the Holy Ghost. Wait a minute. Amen. But the comforter. The comforter. The spirit. Which is which the Holy is Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Hold it. Hold it. Compound word. Amen. Holy. Holy. Ghost. Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's right. One is an adjective, and the other is talking about a nature. Holy is the adjective of the ghost. That's right. Holy Ghost is Holy Spirit. That's right. Spirit is divine. Spirit is eternal. That's God. That's God. Holy Ghost, Holy God, Holy Spirit, Holy Father. That's right. And if there's one God, one Father, Holy Ghost, Holy One. That's right. Because you ain't got no holy two. No. Get me? That's right. What did he say? But the comforter. Jesus which, is talking. But the comforter. But the comforter. Which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father whom will send God, in my name. Whom God. That's right. Father. We all agree. God is the Father. That's right. And if you don't agree, give me Malachi 2.10 quickly. Malachi 2.10. Malachi 2.10 quickly. That's right. Malachi 2.10 quickly. Amen. Malachi 2.10 quickly. Malachi chapter Malachi 2. Malachi 2.10 quickly. Have we not all one father? Have we not all what? Have we not all one father? How many fathers? One father. And what did that father do? Hath not one God created us? What one did the God. one father do? Hath not one God created us? All right, go back to John 14, 26. Back you see, they can't harmonize the Bible. No. These jack leg preachers just get up and read scripture and say, it means what it says. You're so blind. You, you, need, you don't have the oil. That's right. Amen. You don't have the oil. That you, that's, why, that's why nothing come out of your mouth to soothe. You know, oil soothe. That's right. And when the oil or the anointing come out of God's preacher, it soothes the soul of the church. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, let's say God. That's right. What is that? St. John 14 and verse 26. Uh -huh. But the comforter. But the comforter. Which is the Holy the Ghost. The comforter, which is the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Whom the Father whom will the Father send, or whom God will send. In my name. He's going to send the Holy Ghost in my name. He shall teach you all things. Who's going to send the Holy Ghost? He, whom the Father will send in my name. Who gonna send the Holy Ghost? The Father will send. The Father is God. That's right. Who gonna send the Holy Ghost? The Father will send. All right, give me John 15, 26. St. John chapter 15 and verse 26. Just, just, just one step over. That's, That's right. what you jack legs overlook. That's right. Hear me good. But when the Comforter is Jesus come, talking. But when the Comforter is come. Jesus talking. But when, when the, the Comforter is come. Is come. Whom I will send unto you from the Father. I'm going to send them. I will send unto you from the Father. I'm going to send them. From the Father. From the Father? Even but what did John 14, 26 whom, say? Whom the Father will send. But 15, 26. Whom I will send. 14, 26. Whom the Father will send. I dare you to tell me it's two sending the Holy Ghost. That's right. The Father going to send it? That's right. That's right. Jesus going to send it? That's right. That's right. Why? Because he is the Father. He is Father. He's God. That's right. 
You ain't got to send in the Holy Ghost. No, no. When I call on God, I call on the Lord Jesus. That's right. Let me get Bible for that. That's right. Give me Acts chapter 7, chapter seven and verse, verse 59. 59. Let me certify my talk with Bible. Acts chapter 7, I verse declare 59. to all the earth, That's when right. I call on God, I call on Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 7 and verse 59. Yes. And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. Calling upon God. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. They stoned Stephen calling upon who? Calling upon God. By what name? And saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. They called on who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. They called on who? Calling upon God. And that's the Father. That's right. And what did they call the Father? Saying, Lord Jesus. What did they call the Father? Lord Jesus. Who did they call on? Calling upon God. And what did they call the Father? Lord Jesus. That's what we call him. That's right. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. That's what we call him. Amen. Hallelujah. When a man tell you Jesus Christ is not God, you come bring that here. That's right. Bring it here. Bring it here. See if I don't slap you back and forth with Bible. <laughs> That's right. I preach Jesus Christ is the one true living God. One true living it's God. It's too deep for you because you don't know Jesus' first nature. That's right. His first nature was not flesh. No. His first nature was divine. That's right. His first nature is spirit. That's it. His first nature is immortal. That's right. His first nature is everlasting. Yes. And then when he put on the body, that nature was lower than the spirit. That's right. Because flesh is not equal to spirit. That's it. That's why the Bible says he was made. A little, a little lower, lower than, the angels. Than, the angels. than the angels. Then the Bible says he didn't take on the nature of the of angels. angels. You better give him the book the of Hebrews, Hebrews, if you will, son. Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. He took on the seed of Abraham. That's he right. didn't have to take on the nature of angels because he had that nature already. That's right. The Bible already said he maketh his angel spirit. In the book and of Hebrews. God is a spirit. So he didn't take that nature on because he had it. Hebrews chapter 2 at verse 16. Out of it. For verily he took not on him the nature of he didn't take on what? The nature of angels. He didn't take that on. He didn't have to. Why? The Bible said God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And he maketh this angel spirit. That's so right. he didn't take on what they had on because he made them. Spirit made spirit. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Spirit, which is God, made the angels, which are spirits. That's right. But those spirits wasn't qualified to redeem because he didn't make them with blood. That's right. So he made that which was lower than the angels. That was the Lamb of God, the Messiah, the only begotten of the Father, Son of God, the mediator, the man, Christ Jesus. But we you see, see the man was the mediator. That's right. Give me the book of Timothy. Book of Timothy. And after you get Timothy, give me Mark 15, 39. Okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. Give me Timothy and then give me Mark 15, 39. Amen. The man of him. That's right. Glory to God. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2. Listen at this. I will start at verse 5. All right. For there is one God. Huh. One There is God. one God. And what? And one mediator. And one mediator. Between God. Between. And, and men. Between God. And men. And man. When he was here, flesh and blood, that was the mediator. That's right. His body was the mediator. Because the Bible plainly says there's one God and yeah. one what? And one mediator. Who is it? Between God and men. Who is it? The man Christ Jesus. What part was the mediator? The man Christ Jesus. What part was the mediator? The man Christ Jesus. What part was the mediator? The man Christ Jesus. Now let's see what part died. Give me uh, Mark, Mark 15, 39. Saint Mark chapter 15 at verse 39. What is it? And when the centurion which stood over against Notice him. Notice the language of the Bible. And when the when centurion, the centurion stood over against him, saw, saw that he so cried out. And when what? And gave up the ghost. He died and gave up the ghost. He said, truly this man was the son of God. What part of him was the son of God? This man was the son of God. The same thing that was the mediator was the son. That's right. The man of him. That's right. That natural body, that merry birth. That was the son of God. That was the son of God. Son of man. That's right. Son of David, That's right. Lamb of God, offspring of David, that which came from the line of the tribe of Judah, that was the apostle, that was the minister, That's right. that was the bishop. But we see Jesus. That was the shepherd. That's right. That was the husband man. Yeah. The husband man was within the true vine. Yeah. That's right. The husband man was in the true vine. The true vine was the seed. 
That's right. Planted by the husband man. That's right. In the house of David. On, That's what the Bible said. Had not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the, the seed, seed of, David. of David, David out of the town of Bethlehem, of Bethlehem where David. David was. That's right. That's right. Seed of David. Seed of David. Now the scripture says offspring of David. That's right. In other words, David sprung from him. And he sprung from David. That's right. That's what it meant. The Lord said unto my Lord. You better get that quick sign. Yes. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Saint Matthew. You devil to see blind things out there. Say the Lord one, the Lord two. That's two Lords. Come tell me that. That's right. Don't post it. Come stand in a square circle with me. Yes. Amen. And tell me that and see if I don't make you eat your two Lords just like a horse eating apple. That's right. Huh? That's right. Let me show you the mystery of it. Get this. Now in the book of St. Matthew chapter 22 and, and at verse 41. All right. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them. Jesus asked them. Saying, what think ye of Christ? Ha. What do you think of Christ? Whose son is he? Whose son is Christ? They say unto him. Hold it. Amen. Whose son is Christ? That's right. Christ was in the prophets. That's right. There was two natures of the one Christ. One Christ. Oh, and said, that's not Bible. Give me Peter. Second Quickly Peter. now. Amen. Let me Second read Peter. One, one chapter, one verse that points out both natures. That's right. Listen at this. That's right. Book of Peter real quick, son. Amen. The sufferings of Christ, Amen. which testified beforehand. First Peter chapter 1. Real verse, quick. Come on now. At verse 11. Listen. Searching what? Searching or, what? Or what manner of time? Let's stay closely at the language of the Bible. Searching what? Searching what or, or what manner of time? The Spirit of Christ. What? The Spirit of Christ. Where was the Spirit of Christ located? Which was in them. It was in the prophets doing what? Did signify when it testified beforehand. About what? The sufferings of Christ. And the glory that should follow. You got the Spirit of Christ. That's right. And you got the sufferings of Christ. Sufferings of Christ. And God ain't suffering. That's right. No! Son of God is suffering. That's right. He was the one that did the suffering. Yes. So you got the spirit of Christ who made the prophets talk about the flesh of Christ. of Christ. So the flesh inherited its title, Christ, from the spirit and inherited its name, Jesus, from the spirit. That's first right. First chapter of the book of Hebrews, first, quickly. First chapter. Stay the ahead book of, of me, Hebrews. son. My God, my, my mind is crowded. Right. I need you to be my forerunner and yes. stay ahead of me. Listen at this. Saint, uh, Hebrews chapter 1 and right verse 7. Be quick. And of the angels, he said, who maketh. Of the angels. Which of the angels, he said. Who maketh his angels spirit. He made his angels spirit. And his ministers and of his flame of fire. Ministers of flame of fire. Amen. Come on, go to verse 4. Come verse, on. Verse 4. Come on, son. Hebrews chapter 1 and we're at verse 4. Yes. Being so much better than the angels. Being so much better than the angels. As he hath by inheritance. Do you hear this? Amen. As he hath by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. Don't you hear him praying in the 17th chapter of John? Yes. Yeah. The body praying to the spirit. That's right. I gave them Thy name. I have given them thy word. What? I have given them chapter thy verse. word. St. John chapter 17. That flesh this. inherited the name Jesus from the spirit. That's right. That when he came in the father's name, it was an inherited name. That's right. Jesus is an inherited name and Christ, which is the title that God had. So he took on name and title. That's right. That's why he said all things the Father has are mine. Oh, they're mine. That's right. I got his title. I got his power. I got his authority. That's right. That's why the devil is a subject unto me. That's right. That's right. That's why the devil can say, I know who thou art. I know you. You got on the body, but I know you. That's right. That's right. Because nobody got that kind of power but you. <laughs> That's right. I know you. That's right. The angels can't buy me, but you can. Glory to God. St. John chapter 17 and read verse 6. Listen. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Now, I have manifested thy name. Unto the men which thou gavest me out and of the world. And he done it in the flesh. God was manifested in the flesh. In the flesh. And the flesh manifests the name of the God that was in it. That's right. That's why whatsoever you do. Yes. And word. Or deed. Or deed. Oh. 
do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's what I'm doing. I'm going everywhere that I may manifest that name. That's right. And give that name to the people. That's right. That God bring out the world. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Back now in St. Matthew chapter 22 at verse 41. Follow me. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them. And said what? Saying, what think ye of Christ? What do you think of Christ? Whose son is it? They say unto him, the son of David. The son of David. He saith unto them, how then doeth David in spirit? Listen here. Amen. He the son of David. Jesus said, all right, then how then David. Do with David in spirit. When he was in the spirit. Call him Lord. He called him Lord. Saying, saying the Lord. The Lord. Said unto said my unto Lord. Said unto my Lord. Sit thou here. Sit thou at my right sit hand. Sit thou at my right hand. Till I make thine enemies thy footstool. And then what? Then if David then call him Lord. If David call him Lord. How, how is, he his, is son? he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word. They didn't get it then and the nuts don't get it now. That's right. They didn't get it then and the infidels don't get it now. That's right. It was a mystery then, it's a mystery, mystery now. now. But it's given unto you to know the, know mystery, the mystery, but unto them that are without it's not uh, all things not are done given. in parables. It's not a mystery to me. That's right. It's not a mystery to me. That's why I'm about to dive into it right now. That's right. The Lord said unto my Lord. The Lord said unto my Lord. Jesus was David's Lord. That's right. Wonderful. And Jesus was David's son. That's right. Yes. That's right. David was the father of that flesh. Because the flesh came out of David's house. Hath not the scripture and said? And David was the father of that house, the Bible says. Now St. John 7 and verse 42. Hath not the word of God said? That Christ cometh of the seed of that David. That Christ, talking about the flesh of Christ. That's right. Comes of the seed, seed of, David. of David out of the town. Of Bethlehem. Where David was. Where David was. So the, Jesus, the son of man, was David's Lord. And yet David was his Lord. His Lord. Because David was the Lord of the house that the Son of Man came out of. That's right. The spirit that made David, that was David's Lord. Yes. And even the Son of God was David's Lord because the Son was superior to David. That's right. David had sin that he inherited from birth and sins he committed. Yeah. Jesus was born no sin. No sin. No stain in his blood and no stain in his conduct. That's right. Which made him the perfect infallible sacrifice. Oh, yeah. That's right. In the first chapter of uh, St. John, if I'm correct. Yes. Let's see how clean his blood was and what he didn't take. I believe John, John 1, 1, 13. St. John Again chapter that. 1 and at verse 13. Read fast. Which were born not of blood. Which was born. You better get at verse 12. At verse 12. Yes. But as many as received him. As many as received Jesus. To them gave he power to become the sons of God. He gave them power to be the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Yes. Which were born not of blood. Look, when he came here, he was born not of blood. Nor of In the other words, he didn't get the blood of the human family. That's right. He didn't get their blood. What you mean he didn't get their blood? His blood was not like theirs. That's right. His blood was perfect and infallible and spotless. That's why he was able to die for everybody. That's right. Nobody else could die for the human family because everybody else's blood was tainted as a result of Adam's transgression. That's right. One Adam put you in bondage. The last Adam will come to take us out of bondage. But with the precious blood of Christ. What? But with the precious blood of Christ. Do you hear it? First Peter chapter 1 and verse 19. But with the precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb, of a without, lamb blemish, without blemish. And without spot. And without spot. Go back to where you were in the first chapter of the book of John. Back in St. John chapter 1 and verse 12. What is it? But as many as received him, to them gave he power yeah. to become the sons of God. Uh -huh. Even to them that believe on his name. Yeah. Which were born not of blood. Look at that. When he was born, not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Mary ain't lay with nobody, you know, to get him here. Nor of the will of man. There was no willful lust. There was no will of man involved. But who did all of this? But of God. 
Amen. It was Amen. the will of God. Will of God. What was God's will, Pastor Jennings? That he be made manifested in the flesh. And the word was made flesh. The word was made flesh. And what did it do? And dwell among us. Now hold it. The word is eternal and the word is God and God is not made. That's right. But he spoke flesh into existence by the creating power of his word. But we when see When the Jesus. Bible says the word was made flesh, that don't mean God was made. That's right. That means he spoke things that did not exist into existence. He spoke the invisible and made it visible. Made it visible. Let there be light. Here it comes. That's right. Let a firmament be in the midst of the deep. There it is. There it is. The word, the word speech that bring the non-existence into existence. Into existence. Word, the title word is an adjective that describes God's power That's that right. he speaks things into being. That's it. All down through the Bible. What kind of speech did he use, Pastor Jennings? Prophecy. Prophecy. What speech is he using now? Prophecy and gospel. Prophecy and gospel. And doctrine. That's right. And revelation. And revelation. Amen. You better give me Brother Paul. Yeah. Uh, come to you in doctrine and, and revelation. And, uh, and he showed the different ways he came to the church. Yeah. That's how God talks now. In fact, you know, hold that. Give me Titus. Titus. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Let's see how God is. Wait, you better read, go, go, first go back to John. John 1.1. 1, 1. Here, it just, it, 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 it just hit me so good. Give me John 1.1, 1, 1, then John 1.14. Give me the first chapter of the book of Titus, and which would be clear of what God's word does. Listen at this. First in St. John chapter 1 and verse 1. Follow me and hear me, you old hypocrites out there that's got these Trinitarian lies. In the St. John 1 and 1, in the beginning. Was the word. Was God. And the word. And the word. Was God. That the meaning was and another God with him. That's right. When it said the word. Was what? In the beginning was the word. Was the word. And the word and was the with word God. Was with God just simply mean he's a God of his word. And, the, and who is that word? And the word was God. So if God is the word, and then it says up above that the word was with God, with God, it cannot mean that there was a separate entity with the word. That's right. Because the word that was with him is him. That's right. And the word was God. Verse 14. Verse 14. And the word that was That same made, word. And the word was made flesh. It made, it made flesh. And dwelt among us. And when he made the flesh, the flesh dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. We beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full we, of grace and truth. We beheld the glory of the Son of God. That's it. He came here by the creating power of his word. Amen. God spoke him into being. That's right. Under us. Child is born. Son is given. Government shall be upon his shoulder. Name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace. There shall be no end. Speaking the Son into existence. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth has been from old to everlasting. Speaking the Son into existence, a rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom, counsel, and might. Speaking the Son into existence. Judah, thou art he whom your brother going to praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemy. Thy father children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's worth going to go. From the prey, my son. You're going up to stoop down as a lion, as an old lion who shall rise him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor alone give it from between his feet until Shiloh come. That's right. And under him shall, shall the gather of the people be. That's it. The word, the word was made flesh. Was made flesh. flesh. And dwelt among us. And it dwelt here. That's right. In a body. That's right. That's why when he came in the flesh, he spoke to the flesh and told the disciples, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. They are spirit. spirit. He told you the nature of his words. That's right. The words are spirit and, and they, they are, are life. life. But me, myself, I do nothing of myself. That's right. But as my father or as the word, the word of in me. In me. He, he doeth the works. Wonderful. First chapter of Titus. Now, book of Titus, chapter 1, at verse 4. Holloman. At verse 3. 
But hath in due times manifested his Look word. Look how God get his word over. But hath in due times. In due time. Manifested his he word. He manifests his word. Through preaching. Through preaching. The manifestation of the spirit of God is manifest how? Through preaching. That's why you got those two olive trees. That's right. Hallelujah, glory. That's, right. That's right. You got to have the anointing. The anointing. Full of oil. That's right. Lord, we take God baptized with the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon the me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he hath anointed, he has me, anointed me to preach the gospel. Go back to the Lord and say unto my Lord, let's finish stripping that bear. Amen. Take it apart. Amen. Amen. Back These in Matthew fools out here with two laws. And here the Bible says in Ephesians 4, 5, one law. One law. One faith. One baptism. That's right. Amen. Come on, son. Back in Matthew 22 and verse 42. All right. Saying, what think ye of Christ? What you think of Christ? Whose son is Whose he? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. Uh, he's David's son. He saith unto them, how then doeth David in Look spirit? Look at it. You know, Jesus knew how to tie you up then. Oh, yeah. He knew how to tie you up now. That's right. Amen. That's why these fellas try to make Jesus the second person in the Godhead. I'm telling you, false prophets and hypocrites out there, you that says Jesus is the second person. And the God here. Come tell me that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, tell me to my face. That's yeah. how I want you to do it. Uh, tell me to my face, and I show you in the Bible, he's God. God. The one say, was well, he the son of God? He was God and the son of God. That's, that's right. He was human and divine. Human and divine. Yeah? That's right. That's why he can alternate. He can talk as God when he want, want to, and he can talk as the son of God when he want to. That's right. Amen. He, he went on to Lazarus' Lazarus. burial place, and then the son of man says, move the stone move away. Stone that's right. But then the God that was in that son of man saying, Lazarus, come forth, come forth, come forth. What you mean? I'm the resurrection. That's right. Huh? That's right. I got power of life and death. Don't you hear God talking in Deuteronomy? Uh, I kill. I kill. I make a lie. That's right. He said, I'm the one that do it. All these things. I'm the one that do all of it. All, all right, go back to where you are. Back in Matthew 22 and verse 42. Oh, uh, yes. I preach Jesus Christ as God, and I That's preach right. there is no other God but he. That's right. You that says that Jesus is the second entity or second person in Godhead, or the Holy Ghost is the third person, you're nothing but a threefold liar. <laughs> That's it. Not only are you a threefold liar, you are a twofold liar. <laughs> That's right. All right, hear me now. Matthew 22 and verse 42. Follow me. Saying, what think ye of Christ? What you think of Christ? Whose son is he? Whose son is he? They say unto him, the son of David. Yes. He saith unto them, how then doeth David in spirit? Look at him. Jesus threw revelation at him. That's right. Yeah. How then David? In spirit. You know, you got to have the spirit to get this. That's right. Uh -huh. How then doeth David in spirit in call spirit, him Lord? Call him Lord. Saying, the Lord. Because he is the Lord. That's right. That's true. Who art thou, Lord? I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. Know ye the Lord, he is God. He is God. He only got one Lord. That's right. Uh -huh. The Lord said unto my Lord. Said that on my right hand until I make thy enemy thy footstool. If David then called him Lord, and what? how is he his son? What happened? And no man was able to, ha to answer him a word. <laughs> Neither durst any man from that day forth. What? Ask him any more questions. Yeah, they left Jesus alone, didn't they? That's right. From that day forth, brother, they backed off him. That's right. The Spirit was David's Lord. That's right. Because he is the father of creation. Jesus was David's father, and, G and David was Jesus' father. That's right. What do you mean? The Bible says in the first chapter of the book of Luke, mm -hmm. talk about David's authority. And made reference to Jesus That's right. and said of the throne of the throne oh, of his, his father, father David. David. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1 and verse 30. Listen at this. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, Fear not. for thou hast found favor with God. Yes. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Yes. And bring forth a son that shall call his name Jesus. Yes. He shall be great uh -huh. and shall be called the son of the highest. Yes, the highest is the spirit and the son is the flesh. And the Lord God, the shall, Lord give God shall give unto him the throne, the throne of, his father David. of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. Now, David was the father of the house that Jesus came out of. That's, right. That's how David was his father. Right. Jesus was David's father because Jesus made David because Jesus is God, the creator of the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's, That's right. right. Now. You blind guys said that David's throne is in heaven. That's a lie. That's a lie. David's throne was built on earth. That's right. And it's still on earth. Yeah, right. But the authority of it is in heaven. You see, this is what you didn't get. You think a throne is just a chair. Right. 
Let me enlarge your mind. I had to do that before with the scripture in the Old Testament. Heaven is his throne. Earth is his Earth footstool. Is footstool. And if you look at that logically, you think That's right. he's sitting on the throne and this white marble is the earth and he's sitting with his legs stretched out. Right. On the earth rocking. Rocking. No, he's not. That's right. Throne represents authority. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Huh? You know, when John saw one set on the throne, that throne couldn't hold him. John, by God's permission, God just allowed him to see one mm. to let him know only one got authority. That's right. Huh? Right. Because the Bible said heaven. 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 Read that, son. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 1. Read quick. Thus saith the Lord. The heaven is my throne. What? The heaven is my throne. The heaven, spell it. H e a v e n. The heaven is my throne. Is my throne. And the earth. And the earth is my footstool. Now, what do you think he's doing? Resting his feet on the planet? Mm. Don't you know Earth have more than one meaning? That's right. When you die, that's Earth going back to Earth. Right. Earth is his footstool, meaning how the Earth, the members of the human family, is subject to the one that's on the throne. That's right. We are subject to him. That's it. We are his subjects, and throne mean authority. That's so it. when the Bible says of the throne of his father David, there shall be no end. Amen. That means David, Jacob, Jesus now, being king over David's house. Right. Huh? Now Jesus come along being the everlasting king. That's right. That's why it's called king of kings. Of kings. Hold it. King of kings. Now, he's David's king. That's right. He's king, and now you got of king. And the ones that come under of king is David, Solomon, Manasseh, Nebuchadnezzar, That's right. Josiah, Amon. Them are of king. Of king. King of king. of king. When you of king, you are subject to the king. That's right. Which in which in his times he shall show. Do you hear it? Now in the book of 1 Timothy 6, we'll start at verse 14. Yes. That thou keep this commandment without spot. And what? Unrebukable. Uh -huh. Until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Which in his times. Which in his times. He shall show. He shall show. Who is the potent. Who is the potent. Who is the blessed and only yes. potent. And only potent. The king of kings. Hold it. King of what? The king of kings. And what else? And lord of lords. Now I dare you to tell me that means it's two lords. That's when it right. says lords of lords, that time with the scripture, there are lords many. Lords many. Because a king, a king is a lord of a kingdom. That's right. But now you got a lord that's of lords. Of yes. lords. You may be a lord, but now you got to answer to the lord. The lord. David was a king. That's right. But now you got the king of kings. For though there be that are called gods. Do you hear? In 1 Corinthians 8 and at verse 5. There are those that are called gods. Whether in heaven or whether in, in earth, heaven or earth. As there be gods many. Someone said, wait a minute. You see that? That lets you know there's more than one god of in heaven. No, it didn't say that. No. It said they're called that. Called gods. Someone said, well, how is that done, Pastor Dennis? Hold that, give me the book of Acts of the Apostles, yeah. where the apostles went down among the barbarians, right. amen, and uh, they wanted to do sacrifice unto Paul and Barnabas, That's right. and they called the planets gods. That's right. I got to certify this with Bible here. That's right. it, it didn't say it was a lot of gods in heaven. No, we're going to go back to that after we itemize this in the book of Acts. That's right. I mean, come on, son, let's read quick. There Acts was chapter 14. Come on, I need you to read fast. Acts 14 and we're at verse 9. Yes. The same heard Paul speak who steadfastly beholding him. The same heard Paul speak. Who steadfastly beholding him. They stood him, fast looking at him. And perceiving that he had faith to be healed. Oh, yes. Said, mm -hmm. Come on, son. Said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet. Get up on your feet. And he leaped and walked. Yeah. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, saying in the speech of they Iconium. They said in the speech of Iconium. The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. And it wasn't talking about the one God of heaven. Read on. The gods are come down to us in the likeness of men. Called gods. Called gods. Go back to, I need you to go back and forth. Yes. I need you to go back to what the Bible says in the book of Corinthians about what's, what they call heaven. Now in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 8. Yes. Five, come on, son. For though there be that are called gods. They are called gods. Whether in heaven. What? What? Whether in heaven. See, a, a lot of people call planets gods. Right. That's Stars right. gods. That's right. Greek mythology. That's, That's right. right. Zeus. Socrates. That's right. All of that. Uh, called gods. What you call it? Horoscope folly. Yeah. It's called the zodiac, yeah. Pastor. The zodiac. The zodiac. It's supposed to be different gods. Yeah. My birthday is in February. I'm supposed to be Aquarius. A queer looking fella. 
always standing half naked, posing, looking like he's a fag. I'm supposed to be Virgo, Pastor. You're supposed to be a Virgo. Virgo. What does that look like? I'm not sure. I'm not, I think it's about the same. Look about the same? It might be a woman. A woman? I'm surely not that. I'm supposed to be a lion, Taurus the bull, yeah. all of that trash that yeah. come out of hell. That's right. We the church don't go by that folly. No. We go by what's written. That's right. Come on, son. For though, back in 1 Corinthians 8 and at verse 5. What did he say? For though there be that are called gods. Called that. Whether in heaven. Whether where? In heaven. Hold it right there. Now go back to the book of Acts. Back in Acts chapter 14 and at verse 12. Let's get to heaven, how they called the planets gods. Back in Acts chapter 14, we're at verse 11. Yeah, they thought Paul and Barnabas were gods. And <laughs> the gods have come down to us. That's right. Read fast. And when the people saw what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices, sang in the speech of Lyconia. Yes. The gods are come down the to gods. us. The gods. You know they was in error the moment they pluralized it. That's right. That's right. The gods have come down to us. In the likeness of men. And the form of men. And they called Barnabas Jupiter. They called Barnabas Jupiter. Let and you know that Barnabas, his statue was bigger than Paul because Jupiter, according to science, is the largest planet in the solar, the largest planet in the solar system. That's right. And what did they call Paul? And Paul Mercurius. They called Paul Mercurius or Mercury because Mercury is the first planet or the chief planet or the hottest planet. What was Paul? Bec and Paul Mercurius, yes. because he was the chief speaker. He was the chief speaker. Then the priest of Jupiter, which was before this. All right, we got that straightened out now. Let's go back uh, to where you were. Amen. Go back to where you were about the planets. About the planets. They're the called gods. Yes. Let's finish back that up. That's 1 Corinthians 8 and verse 5. Yes. For though there be that are called gods. They're called that. Whether in heaven. Whether in heaven. Or in earth. Or in earth. As there be gods many. Gods many. And lords many. Lords many. But to us. But wait a minute. Look at Paul straighten out all the confusion. That's right. To us, that's them that are God's people. But to us. Because the Bible said that it might be made known to the church the manifold wisdom of God. That's right. So to us, to God's people, the church that's from the Lord Jesus Christ, how many do we have? There is but one God. That's it. That's it. There is but one God. The Father. He is the Father. Of whom are all things. All things came from the Father. And we in him. And we are in him. And one Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I know they I, I know they buzzing over that now, because now they see it now. And, and and one Lord Jesus Christ. By whom are all things. By whom are all things. And we by him. All right. Are we by Jesus Christ and not by God? Mm. What do you mean by Jesus Christ? God done everything through that name. Through, that's right. That's why everything is done now through that name. Through the name. And God was manifested in the flesh and fulfilled all prophecy through Jesus Christ. That's right. And to make all men see. What is it? And the book of Ephesians chapter 3 and verse I 9. I dare you to tell me Jesus is the second entity. Come mm. on, preachers. Come out your hole. Come on around that table, Cletus. Come on. That's right. Come on around that table. I take this word of God and throw it at you. That's right. We only got one here. I say, and don't separate them. No. You come on and make them too. Yeah. Here I take the Bible and shoot your tongue to pieces. That's right. Here you got Jesus as Lord of Lords, King of Kings. King of Kings. You ain't got two Lords of Lords and King of Kings because God Himself is Lord of Lords. That's right. And King of Kings. That's you ain't got two of them. No. Come on, son. Now in Ephesians chapter three and verse nine. That's what. And to make all men see what make is the all fellowship men of the mystery. See. What is the fellowship of the mystery? And when you find preachers say, it ain't no mystery. He's a blind bat. He's blind. No Amen. mystery. And a person say the Bible is not a mystery. It's just a common book then. That's right. And that means anybody can understand it. That's right. But here is Jesus made it plain. It's given unto you to know. To know the mystery. This ain't no common book. No way. It was a common book. Tell me who was that twirling out of the north with a firing fold in itself and four faces on each side. Face of a man, face of an ox, face of an eagle. That's right. Who was the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet under and her feet. on her head was crowned 12 stars? That's right. What does it mean? Arrows came out of God's hands and a two-edged sword out of his mouth. And the eyes has a flame of fire. It don't mean his eyes are red. That's right. If it's not a mystery. That's right. If it's not a mystery, tell me the day and time and year of the Lord's coming. Mm. Nice day. Nice. 
Because the Bible said the angels don't know. No. Angels don't know. He said, neither the son but the father. That's, that's it. And when it said neither the son, it can't be talking about Jesus. No. Because the Bible said Jesus of Nazareth know all things. All things. Can't be talking about him. So what son is he talking about? Now are we, we the, sons, now of we the God. sons of God. Talking about the church. We don't know. We don't know when he's coming. That's right. But of that day and that hour. Listen at this. Now it's St. Mark chapter 13. Come tell me ain't no mysteries in the Bible. That's a blasphemy. That's, That's blasphemous. Give chapter and verse. St. Mark chapter 13 and verse 32. That's what? But of that Let's day. Let's balance that out. Jesus of Nazareth knew all things. I need to balance that out. Right. All right. But of that day and that hour. Of that day. And that hour. Of that hour. Knoweth no man. Hold it. That got everybody. Everybody. That's right. No man know the day or hour. That's right. Knoweth no, not no man. And that hour knoweth no man. Uh -huh. No, not the angels which are in heaven. Gabriel is up there, but he, he's dumb to this. That's right. He ain't got a clue. Michael don't have a clue. Raphael don't have a clue. None of the angels that battled Lucifer along with Michael, none of them know. Yeah. Mm -mm. Not given to them. Not given. Uh -huh. And of that day and that hour knoweth no man. Yes. No, not the angels which are the in heaven. Angels which is in heaven, they don't know. Neither the sun. Uh oh, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Neither the Son. But the Father. But God. Mm. That's right. But, but God. But the Father. But look at what the Bible says about Jesus, the Son of God, how much he knows. Now in St. John chapter 16 and at verse uh, 15. Says what? All things that the Father hath of mine. Yes. Therefore shall I take of mine and shall show it unto you. Yes. Down at verse 20. Yes. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Jesus of Nazareth know all things. That's right. Everything. Everything. Yes. Jesus of Nazareth. In St. John chapter 16. Says what? And at verse 30. What is it? Now are we sure that thou knowest all things. Wait a minute. We sure that you know how much? Now are we sure that thou knowest all things. And what he don't need. And needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe. What? That thou camest forth from God. Amen. Amen. And yet what the Bible said, who don't know? Back in St. Mark chapter uh 13 and at verse 32. Of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. They ain't talking about Jesus. No. No. That's right. He oh, know no. everything. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things? The apostle said, We're sure of that. We're sure. And if they're sure of it, I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. When it says the Son don't know, it's talking about the church. But the Bible said, now are we the sons, the sons of, God. of God. We don't know. That's it. But the son of man, he knows. Oh, yes. Amen. So God. yet, but yet you say ain't no mysteries. Mm. That's blaspheme. Every preacher, yeah. I don't care who you are, a so-called apostle, prophet, bishop, elder, Hindu, who do a palm reader or no reader. <laughs> you say the Bible is not a mystery, then everybody should know when the Lord coming is. That's, That's right. right. Just let me, if it ain't no, if you say there's no mystery, that means that you know when the Lord's coming. That's right. No and if you knows. don't know, which you don't, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. And God ain't making that known to nobody. No. Anybody come along and say, the Lord told them what month or what day or what year. They're a liar. They lied. I don't care if they're speaking in some tongue, spitting on everybody, jumping and shouting, falling out, eyes rolling back, shaking, like they're going into convulsions. I don't care. Any so-called apostle, prophet, evangelist, bishop, elder, pastor, woman, preacher, prophetess, or prophet. That's right. Say the Lord, let them know what day, what year, what year. is this coming? They have lied. In Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29. That's right. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. If it belongs to God, it's a mystery to us. That's right. And what? But those things which are revealed. Those things which are made known. Be belong unto us. Huh. And to our children forever. Do you, wait a minute. It belongs to us and who else? And to our children forever. That balance out with the New Testament that it might be made known to the church. The manifold yeah. wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Give me Acts 238. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, sinner, sinner. Sinner, sinner, 
Where are you going to run? Where are you going to hide? You got to have a divine ability to break down the mystery. And I thank God that the truth of God, within the truth of God, the mystery is given, broken down, so plain. So many thousands of people often comment how they're glad that the Bible is made plain. That's right. The Bible says to you, sinner. Then Peter said unto them, repent. It's time for you to get your life right. Who? You. You. Your mama. And your daddy. Your husband. Your children. You living like the devil. You know you are. That's right. Yes, you know you are. You know you're living like the devil and you know you're of the devil. That's why you smoke. You were smoking on your way here. Amen. Smoking your weed and smoking your cigarettes and put almost a whole pack of lightsabers in your mouth to get a bang out of life. That's right. Got your little traveling bottle of Listerine trying to wash out all that tobacco. You need that tobacco washed out by water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peter says, do what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. God wants you to be sorry for your sins. Yeah. And come out of the false made man religion you're in. That's right. When you're ready to do that, I ain't got to fight with you for water. No. He said, repent. And be baptized, every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. Uh -huh. And ye shall receive the gift of Anybody the Holy Ghost. Anybody want to be baptized the right way? In the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. <laughs> Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow them brothers there. All of you sisters that are standing, follow them sisters there. It just has to be. Oh, yes. Like God says. I said it just has to be. So you bear in mind, the son don't know. They ain't talking about Jesus, the son of God. No. It's talking about the church. That's right. Because Jesus of Nazareth. No wall. You know, he's all right. Let him go on. He's all right. Leave him alone. Let him go on. Go on, brother. You go on and do what you got to do. Brother, I don't want you to block the aisle. Stop talking. I don't want you to block the aisle. You just go on it. Do what you got to do. Don't hold them up. So the traffic keep going. So the folks ready to be baptized. Yeah. Uh, while they in motion, I don't want their mind to change. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. All right. Amen. Come on back. Glory be to the Father. Yes, sister. You want to be restored? All right, you come on. Let us all stand. You know, it's beautiful to see the backsliders constantly coming back to God. That's a beautiful thing. We'll come back. Second session will begin at 5 o'clock. God be our help. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look down upon this sister. One that desire to be restored back unto you. You declared in the word that you are married to the backsliders obligated to restore mind, heart, body, and soul. We thank you, Lord God, for not cutting her off while she, hallelujah, while she was in her sins. But we ask you to forgive her. Forgi hallelujah! Forgive her of every sin and blot out every iniquity. Oh, everlasting Father, restore. Hallelujah! A mind, heart, body, and spirit. Never again to depart from your divine will. Strengthen her where she's weak and mend whatever is broken. Let your peace and mercy be upon her. Thanks be unto God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every heart say amen. amen. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Remain standing. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to thank you and praise you once again for the truth of the gospel. We thank you, Father God, for how you allowed us to hear the mystery of thine words. We thank you, Father God, for the man of God and for the wisdom and knowledge and understanding, my God, that you put in his mouth. We thank you, Father God, for allowing us to hear thine treasures. Hallelujah! My God, out of the words of the Lord. Bless us now, Father God, not only to be hearers, but help us, Father God, to be doers of thine word. Bless those that are waiting for the Holy Ghost. My God, that they may have faith. My God, as they call upon thy name. 
and be filled with your spirit. My God, we thank you for all that you've been to us and for everything that you've done for us thus far. We do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.